Virtue Seekers who presents the Alliance raising your transgender child. What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad. I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because was I cut she, my though? hair. She was mad and she that's... attacked you. We both saw it. That's all we know. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. I don't. Now I'm really curious you what's happening. To me. Not now. When I finally made sense of a few things. Whoa, that what was is... your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. So what happened? Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. I'm really, really confused. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Oh, so they're gonna cut Tyler's hair. Hey. Uh, here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is, is this the day that it happened? Oh, are we reliving this day? Whoa. Is it all gone? Yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight though. It was almost like a party. <gasps> Thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like, like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Mom? Mom? Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. I don't know if I'm prepared for this. And of course it's a dark and stormy night. Of course it is. So the thing is, Tyler didn't think that this would upset their mom. He thought that this would actually make her happy. That's what it's, that's why I'm like so confused. He was, he went to show it to her and he was excited to show it to her. He didn't think that anything bad would come out of it. So maybe because he was saying he just didn't see the signs. Mom? Oh, that is creepy, scary. wrong. This is all wrong. Wait! Stop! 
I really don't think it was because of the haircut. I'm starting to think it was something else. Something else freaked her mom out. Their mom out, excuse me. But what was it? Glad we found your diary. Like a... Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project. I was her child. True. That is true. But... If that is a phoenix... I'll talk about that in a moment. About the book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Yeah, so where did she, she get them? Trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... <sighs> it doesn't make sense, I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, I don't think that was what diary. it was. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that... You think yeah, it wasn't, she read it. it wasn't the hair. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to the live truth? with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people? I don't know. Who know her? See if that book makes sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Right. Operative word right. was. But we need to go by the store anyway to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this, but you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. Look, I've already explained why this is so important to me. Why are you still dragging your feet? It's just, with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. I love this shot, by the way. Just, this angle. You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. I don't know. Wasn't ready to come back. Couldn't find the time. Wasn't ready to come back. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Look, I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone. And, oh god. I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place, and the smells... Allison, the smells... Men smell bad. I know. I've dated a few. Look, I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. 
That makes yeah, sense. That makes a lot of sense. I didn't even I didn't know about any of that stuff, but that makes a lot of sense. Why rush the house sale? So I was thinking, hmm? do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? We've been over this, and we both agreed it's time for a clean break. I know. Trust me. I'm not talking about staying for long. Just long enough to get some answers. And you think this house has those answers? Maybe not, but it's a might. place to start. I think it might. Well, it would be a shame if there was something to find and we tossed it out. We, yeah, we How sold about yeah, exactly. We start digging without putting off the sale. And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. Fair enough. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. Fine. All right. Deal. Deal. So about... Um... It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one so who ever called I'll... you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Okay. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? So Ali. I had a who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. Mm. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. I like the name Tyler a lot too. So Ali was another name that Tyler want like that Tyler I guess was trying and then eventually Tyler settled on Tyler as their name so I'm I don't know I'm just curious what um, his birth name was not that it matters too much at this point but um, cool plan cool plan I like I'll see how they how they he scratched out school planner to cool plan 2003 2004 that's a cool touch I was talking about the the bird on the back of Tyler's jacket and I'm I'm thinking that looks like a phoenix so which I think makes a lot of thematic sense because phoenix is about being reborn and rising back up from the ashes which is pretty much what Tyler is doing like Tyler went through the fire literally almost and had to like become reborn like had to become renewed into who he is now. Um, so I feel like that's what the game is implying. If it wasn't super obvious. Hmm. Mom and Allison, Mom and Allison argued again. At least I'm not the only one Mom is screaming at now. Mom almost seemed jealous we didn't tell her what we were planning to do in the forest. Allie thinks we should tell her about our voice. I think she knows already. Mom seemed really upset when I asked to join the hockey team. Like, it's wrong for me to play a boy sport. I'm going to keep asking. I will try again next week. She said no again. I'm so mad at her. Why does she always say no? Why does she ever let me do what I want? Let me do what I want, want I want to do. Allison and I started writing a story. Well, Allison did. She didn't like it when I tried to change anything. Why can't one of the goblins be a boy goblin? Why can't one of the boblins be a boy goblin? Gotcha. I'm wondering, um, it, it seems like, at least f like in the beginning, their mom was very close to her children because, you know, she called them her little goblins. They had this imaginary world. It felt, felt like they built this, this imaginary world together and they were all part of the story. Her mom was a princess, and then you had the goblins, and they had all these adventures together. And then somewhere along the line, they kind of shut her out, and they started playing with each other and not with her anymore. And so maybe she was feeling left out, and maybe part of it was because Tyler was like having these thoughts and feelings, and therefore became, was like drift because of those like Tyler needed to like drift apart from his mom and I mean that's what I'm how I'm interpreting this right now so this is super cool like there's the goblins saw Star Wars yesterday at Bobby's place Luke was so great but mom found out we watched it and got so mad she says it gloried war shoom shoom 
Saturday, oh, and also, um, yeah, Yoda looks like a goblin. Saturday, 5th, uh, February 5th, 2005. Would mom be happier if I could do what she wanted me to? When she looks at me, she doesn't see me. I wish I could show her. I wish I could make her understand. I think she doesn't want to. Allison told me again that I was, it was my fault mom got angry at us. She is such a suck up. Mom's barely said anything to us in a few days. Allie said she saw her throwing away pages from the Book of Goblins. March 1st, 2005. Do this, do that. I am sick of her voice, and I am sick of that dumb name, too. I'm Ollie the, uh, the Goblin. Ollie the Goblin. I will try again next week. Okay, well, I guess there's nothing else. There's nothing else in this diary. Okay. Okay. I think we should head out right away. Already tired of the view? Just finding it hard to relax and enjoy it with so much on my mind. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to the message. It is a beautiful message. view. Uh -huh. My sister, the social butterfly. It's, is it Mike? Probably Mike. Michael. Seems we got a trespasser. Huh? What the fuck? What the you heck? Got five seconds Are you... to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. Don't know any Tylers. Three. Two. Sam. Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? Oh this my is goodness. Our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Well, your brother? Now apologize oh, immediately, shit. sir. Huh. Yeah. I yeah. I heard about all that, but I never. Dude. <laughs> Dude. You look like a real man. So do you, Sam. You know what wow, I mean. Wow, okay. No. Know they could make a Not really. It's almost like a man. Um, I'm just me. I am a man. Yeah, I am a man. <laughs> Not a woman who looks like a man, Sam. A man. A real man, just like you. Oh, shit. Guess I'm the asshole again. You gotta excuse Probably wasn't the first time. Guys. I really don't. Oh, come on. <laughs> you kids keep changing the rules. You can't expect us to keep up. Just respect the people are who they say they are. It's not hard. No, it ain't hard, but it just takes some getting used to it. You're not used to it. We'll used to it. I Yeah, that I do understand. Way. Okay. To be fair, to be fair, I think this Sam guy is is just is it, it, just ignorant. And okay, I it's a different generation. It's a different time. Um, and yes, it takes time for people to get caught up, especially depending on you know where they are, how they're raised, and all that good stuff. So that doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean that um, people who are affected by this should get the short end, th and short end of the stick and, you know, has to suffer because so many people are very slow, like, to pick up on these things. But, I, I again, trying to put myself in other people's shoes, I don't think Sam is being malevolent here. I think he is trying really hard to like understand it. It's just he's saying he's stumbling with with his words. He's saying the wrong things, and honestly, I can't one hundred percent fault him for that because it's just he's not used to it. It's just not he, he's he's not accustomed to it. Um, and it seems like he is open to learning it and it's just very confusing because yeah you kids are, are, are changing all the rules i can i can um sympathize with that because you know it's almost like this is probably a terrible awful analogy but it's almost it's like slang you know 
my generation, when I was, you know, a teenager, college student, we had our own slang words, and it was hard for our parents to, like, keep up with the slang, nor did we think it was cool at all for our parents to use said slang to us. And so, you know, fast forward 10 years at least, 10, 20 years, whatever, um, the slang has changed. I haven't kept up because, you know, it's not my generation. And so people are, you know, right nowadays, for example, you know, TikTok is all the rave and I just don't get it. <laughs> I don't, you kids are changing the rules. I thought it was Vines. Now it's TikTok. What the heck is TikTok and why is it different from Vines? And why is it so popular? You know, things like that. So I, 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 I envy that person. Now, switching it back to like this sort of like issue, this this social issue, um, it's I have to I'm willing to cut him a little bit of slack because he's I, I don't I, I, for someone like him who clearly is trying trying to not be ignorant, you know, it doesn't make sense for us to to burn bridges with him um, versus you know versus someone who just utterly is. 100% insistent about, you know, their beliefs. He's just admitting that it's confusing. Now, I don't appreciate the fact that he pulled a gun on us, but I'm going to move on from that. So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh, I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? Like patching the roof, checking the pipes, you know, all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, with yeah, their yeah, rifle? So, that's no big deal. I just, you know, your mama, with she's, your shotgun? Uh, she's a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Can you tell Didn't us you about her? To help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. yeah seeing as your mama never had a man around, I, just, you know, I took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? I didn't mean to say that, but... What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. Uh, this place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. Yeah. But maybe... But it seemed like... Some good ones, too? We have been seeing good ones, too the puzzle in drawer, all to speak using her voice. He's hammered. This is really cool. Allie, can you hear me? Ty, we can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. And who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um... Everything okay with you two? Yes. No. Yeah, we're having the oh. Forrester syndrome. That's right. cool. Were you too close? How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well... Your people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. Not me. Hmm. Did 
Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah you two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? Yep. Better yep. late than never, I guess. Uh, never solved it myself. I mean, not that I wanted to. Because you didn't have the book. I, I uh, uh, uh... So, uh... Guess you know all your mama's oh. secrets now, huh? Well, she may have one or two. Not all. We should go. That's all you think we'll get out of him? I have more questions. Hmm. I guess I could ask him a few more questions. Okay. Like, there's no other questions. There's no other questions. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? And that's all the options we were given. That's all the options we were given, so... He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make, and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so... Right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, mm -hmm. Sam? We all gotta get going. Oh. Uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I, lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. I don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for Brown, looking Brown. out for this place. Uh, so many characters. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Thanks. Hmm. Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? You, get, you getting out, Sam? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh, uh, this place meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt oh, like... Yeah, okay. It was a part of her, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. Oh, don't say that. Hopefully the house doesn't oh, turn no. out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh, oh, boy. Yeah. Don't say that, Tyler. Well, uh, take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Maybe the house has Pierce Brosnan's hey, so voice. We really do have a lot to do. Simpsons reference. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. I love Tyler, but I kind of was expecting to control both twins. I was kind of expecting to control Allison about as equally as Tyler. Maybe in the next chapter I'll control more of Allison. It's it's certainly the story plot seems super super um Tyler centric and maybe is is Tyler really supposed to be the main protagonist in the story? I guess he is. Just feels kind of weird when you have twins and only one of them is the main protagonist. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm, the church or the chapel. Is that Tess? Oh, when, no, maybe not. Brown? <laughs> 